Hello everyone, this is Dr. Frankenhans Brain here with another episode of Wacky Wednesday. Oh boy, do we have a fun challenge for all of you. Now, before I share just what that challenge is, does everyone remember what our lesson was about this week? That's right! It, we celebrated Easter and we learned the power of Jesus' resurrection. Now, you might be wondering, why is this such a big deal? Well, we can answer that with a little activity I have in store for us to do together. Are you ready? It's very simple, actually. All you need is a glass, water, a plastic container, and a nifty little piece of cardboard. Think you've got that in your house? I believe so. Look, I'm going to give you 60 seconds to do a scavenger hunt in your own home to find these objects. Sounds simple enough, right? Are you ready? And we'll start the time in three, two, one, and go. Now, welcome back to the vacuumness we are about to get into. Just like we already mentioned, there is power in the resurrection of Jesus. When we could not save ourselves from what sin broke, God sent His Son to save us. You see, sin separated us from God. And just like we get punished for not respecting our parents or breaking a rule, we deserve to be punished for disobeying God. What is our punishment? It's death. Sadly, there is nothing that we can do to save ourselves. No matter how many vegetables we eat, no matter how many times we clean our fishbowl or our hamster cages or say something nice to our baby brother or sister, nothing. Yeah, you're right. And that does sound like a lot of bad news. But like we learned this past week, where there is bad news, God gave us good news. And that good news is Jesus. Jesus rescued us by doing what we couldn't. He lived a sinless life here on earth. And although he didn't deserve to be punished, he took our punishment upon himself by dying on the cross. His body was then placed in a tomb. But guess what? Sin and death could not hold him. Three days later, he rose again from the dead, conquering both sin and death once and for all. Doesn't that sound like good news? Well, it gets even better, and we're going to see just how that's possible with what we've gathered. All right, now go ahead and grab that cup of yours and fill it up with water. You want to fill it with enough water that there's barely any room left in the cup. All right. Now take your cardboard and place it over the opening of the cup. Now, here is my question. We are about to flip this cup upside down with the piece of cardboard still over the opening of this cup. Do you think that the water will stay there? Or do you think that it will pour out and spill everywhere? I want to see what you think. So I'm going to give you 10 seconds to decide, if you think that the water will stay in the cup, show me a thumbs up. If you think that the water will spill everywhere, 
Show me a thumbs down. Are you ready? And go! Now, it is pretty easy to think that if we were to flip this cup upside down, that the water will go everywhere, right? Look, it created a mess. Well, that's how sin was like in our lives. When it came into the world, it turned it upside down and made a mess. But this is where Jesus came into the picture and did something completely impossible. Now, I want you to do this experiment with me. I'm going to do a little riskier version. I'm going to try and put it over my head. But I want you to use that plastic container you have and make sure your experiment does not spill everywhere. Of course, mine isn't because I'm a professional. Now, I'm going to do something even more risky and take off my gloves for this experiment. So, extra grippage, no spillage, all right? You all ready? Here we go. I want you to take your hand, place it over the cup. Now keep it there as we flip the cup over. Now, remove your hand. And ta-da! Look at that, no spillage. You see, what was once impossible and a mess is now a miracle that only Jesus could make happen. And just like I had to trust this piece of cardboard not to make my head wet, the good news is that Jesus can save us from this mess when we place our faith and trust in him. Isn't that awesome? The Bible tells us in Romans 10, 9, that if you declare with your mouth, that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, that you will be saved. That's amazing. Hey, if you haven't made the decision yet to make Jesus your savior, but you would like to, talk to someone at your house about it. Also, be sure to show everyone this cool trick you learned. <laughs> Maybe even ask them if you could try it over their heads. Hey, well, hey, it has been great hanging out with you guys on another episode of Vaggy Wednesday. Be sure to like this video, hit the subscribe button along with the notification bell so you can always know when another episode of Vaggy Wednesday will come your way. This has been Dr. Frank and Hansel Blaine rolling out.